This is what I'm going to make my door out of. It's a piece of tulip. It's just wide enough so that I can get two pieces out. So I'll cut it to length. Got a wider off cut here for the bottom rail. And I think I can get the head out of this. Two styles and a head. But I've got an off cut anyway, just in case. So I'll rip that down, cut its length, plane its size. Right, this board ain't bad, but it's not straight. So to help me, I'm going to put a straight edge on this edge with the jointer. Uh, they've got a bend that way so I'll be putting them over the machine with the bend up like that Uh, if you're playing in bent wood like that, see that's still got a bit of a bend in it. It's almost impossible to get it absolutely straight. Got 36 mil there. I've got 40, 41 there. But then on this end, got about 36 again. As you're putting it through the machine, you want to put weight on the each end, but not in the middle. You don't want to bend it. You're trying to get this straight. If you push down too much, it's just going to come out the same shape that it went in. You've got to be careful though. So you can quite easily 
taper this bit off and this bit suddenly these become too too narrow for what you want but what I'll do so I've got a few millimetres there when I come to put these together when I come to make the door I'll put them the same way right now I've got two square edges it's not completely plain there but I'll deal with that with the thickness so I'll sort these two pieces out, put square edges on them rip that big bit down put them through the thickness to the right size plain and cut them to width as well Right, this piece is too wide for the joiner, so I'm going to put this on there. I'm not going to bother screwing it down. And just run it through the machine like that. I just make sure, make sure that this piece goes through at the same time. Right now I've got that piece, it's plain on both sides, but it's oversized, it's 36, 37 mil. What I'll do is run these through, and then as it gets down to this size I'll include that and start running that through so that they're all the same thickness.
Right, after I put them through the thickness, I put a square edge back on, all of them, on this bottom rail. And bipped them to width. And these ones I just put back through the thickness, just to clean up that sewn edge. This one, after ripping it to width, I just ran it once over the over the jointer. And it's wide because it's going to add a little bit of strength to this door because it's just a single glazed door, single panel door. Plus I'm trying to sort of copy the other door that's next to it. And then I've got some beading. It's going to go around. Something like that to hold the glass in. I was going to put a rebate and a mould on the edge there, but I can't find me. I've got a scribing cutter for the end of these, but I can't find it. It'll be somewhere. I'm just going to stick bead on. It's quicker, easier, it's painted. <laughs> 